Hey guys, it's Alexis with Create Your Future. I am back with a brand new video. Happy Monday. And today I am talking about a very familiar topic about obsession, um, getting someone, creating and manifesting for someone to be obsessed with you, all into you, go all in with you, want a future with you. How do you do that? How do we focus on it? I have done videos recently about this and in the not so recent past about this and a lot of videos, but it seems like something that everybody's kind of wanting again. Uh, maybe it's going to be like our big summer of love, you guys. Who knows? All right. So before I get started, though, the links for booking one on one coaching, one on one hypnosis, the links to all of my best selling courses, pre recorded hypnosis audios, they're in the box below. Please reference those there. All right. So this is the topic that I get asked about so much. And this is a method and a way that we can look at transforming and changing um, a relationship or a situation. Now, I don't like these terms, you guys, but I'm going to use them because people use them. Um, hot and cold, ghosting, the situationship, something. How do we transform it from that into what you want? I have a client success story to illustrate this. And then also, how do we get people to support you? How do we change people's minds who are anti-SP? How do we change so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so when you feel like everyone is against you? I had no idea, you guys. It's my watering my plants day. So my Pyrex is back here. I find it distracting. It's not usually there. Okay, just saying. If anyone notices it, I'm watering my plants today. Okay, so you guys, like, yeah, isn't this like the best topic ever? Isn't this so fun to think about how can we transform someone, anyone to be totally into you, all about you, think about you all the time, to have like a low-key obsession uh, is my idea and viewpoint just because for a lot of people I've talked to, if someone is like high key obsessed with you, then we end up kind of not liking them. So let's manifest and create low key or, you know, obsession that you like someone being totally into you, moving mountains for you, being all about you all the time. Um, I want to also say this is not saying that someone's obsessed with you in a negative way or that they're like not living their own lives and that, that, that therefore you have evidence of being liked, loved and adored. You guys probably know what I'm going to say as how do we do this? It's about self-concept and about your concept of them, right? First of all, if you're wanting to manifest this, your concept of you and who you are in your relationship with your person in your reality has got to be probably very different than it's been, right? If we're generally seeing a reflection in somebody else of, they're not so into me, they call me once in a while, they're not into commitment, they like other people, okay? If you've got a person who's got multiple, like one other person or multiple other parties, people, other situationships, et cetera, you can also think about this for that, right? Because it does come down to you. It comes down to you. What are you thinking within you about you? And then what are you thinking within you about them? Who do you describe them to be, right? Now, oftentimes I see that people create other people to be into other people, not so into them um, because their self-concept that gets activated with that person is one as less secure, um, less confident, we could say, questioning and doubting themselves in love and relationships. Now, right now, what I also want to say is this, if you're hearing this and your answer is Alexis, my self-concept is perfect. My self-concept is totally on point. I don't know why they're treating me this way. I don't know why he or she or they show up this way. I don't know why he never calls. I don't understand how I'm the problem. I'm not the problem. It's their problem. I want to say to you right now, the self-concept that you are when you're like, I'm going to call it single girl status is not the same concept that of you that comes out with your person um, with other people, with the potential of love and relationships, they are like two different concepts of you. Okay. And this is to be like refresher information to be like, oh, so that person I become is not the same concept that I always am. And that person I become or choose to be describe myself as think of myself as that's the person to change. Cause let me tell you right now, if you want to get him or get them to be obsessed with you, totally into you, go all in with you, see a future with you and only you, your thoughts about you cannot be based on questioning, doubting, wondering about love, questioning, doubting, wondering about relationships, questioning and doubting and wondering about does love stay? Does love leave? Am I going to be abandoned? Am I going to be rejected? Right? It's got to be of a completely different concept of who you are and then how you illustrate and think about and describe yourself in terms of love and relationships. 
Now, if you, now this is why it goes deeper than just being confident, just being secure, just being like this thing we hear a lot about, which is like, um, what did we hear a lot about for a while? Which is like main character movie syndrome. Now being the main character of your life and thinking of yourself that way is necessary because you are energetically, spherically in your reality, you are the only thinker and the only creator. You're the only one that can change you. Yes. But being uber confident, uber secure in terms of that way is also not always the answer. This is why it takes a deeper dive like I did with this client onto what's the abandonment about? Because she had both what I call rejection myth. She had abandonment story, rejection story. She would view, review everything with him that was going on. Um, her SP was a guy. My client was a female. She would tell me everything about him. She would tell me all of the details. Now they were in some communication, but it would tend to be hot and cold. She would break down always like everyone does for me. All the tea. I get all the tea, right? Um, I love my job. I love hearing the details. I love it that everyone tells me everything. It's part of what I love to do is hear the nitty gritty, what's actually going on. So if you've never done a session with me and you book one, you do not need to say to me, Alexis, I don't want to go into the old story because I'm not creating that anymore. You guys got to tell me the story, the old story, the new story, what we're planning as the future story. You got to tell someone that's what I'm here for. So if you've been avoiding telling anyone, Maybe that's not helping you either, because in telling someone, you can figure out what am I really telling myself that is the new story to create my future. OK, so like this client, she would tell me every detail. Now, underlying every detail was the rejection mint. He did this and then he said this and he did this and he said this. We went here and this happened. We went there, Alexis, and this happened. Why is this happening? Why do I always feel left out? Why do I not feel included? Why is he not choosing me? Doesn't see how he see how we could be the best people together, et cetera, right? Now I said, okay, I get it. But do you see how your per perception and your thoughts and your mindset on everything he is doing is either coming down to I'm abandoned, I'm rejected, this isn't enough and a sense of lack, a sense of lack, right? And she said, well, yeah, but like, I don't know. How do I change that? 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 Now with her, we did a lot of thought change because that's what you're always doing, right? We're thinking about what new thoughts can I think to change my mind, to project and create my new reality, to change my subconscious movie programming idea within me so that I create the new idea outside of me, right? We had her focus a lot on what's her concept of love. What is her concept of relationships? What is my concept? How am I viewing me and the self concept of me within the relationship? Because like ding, 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 right? She wanted him to be all about her, obsessed with her, all in with her, choose her, want to spend a future together. She wanted to be the stepmother of his son. Okay. These are great, wonderful things, but you want to come down to, okay, it's my reality. It is my perspective. What's missing within me? to create the lovability, long lasting love, this moving forwards, him proposing. Um, that's what she wanted him to propose him to move her into their house. And guess what, you guys, it all began to happen. Okay. Let me get to the success story. And then I will reroute into the moral of today's video. Okay. Dear Alexis, thank you so much. I am so excited. I remember that day that you put a sticker on my notes when I said I wanted to be a success story and now it's here. It's finally all happening after months which were only three months, she puts in parentheses, just so anyone knows who reads this, of persisting and conditioning my mind to think differently, because that's what you told me to do, also in parentheses. I can say that I am now moving into my SP's house, and he is dropping hints and notes and ideas and things about marriage all the time. He's asked me all the questions. He's bringing it up. He's asking me about my future, and he's making it all happen for us. I finally feel like my dream is coming true, and my dream is manifesting, and I am getting to be the stepmother of his son. It's all happening. I can't thank you enough for really, really showing me how to reroute my mind, how to recondition myself, and how to think differently. She puts in exclamation points. What it all came down to was me. What was always the missing component was me and how I was thinking about me. I realize now that when I came to you, I was so convinced my self-concept was on point and that self-concept work was a bunch of B S bull stalking. Okay. We're family, family friendly. There's a little bit of profanity. 
Okay. Um, now I realize that I actually was thinking thoughts about myself that would get activated with him that, as you told me, were not my single girl status. Now I realize that I can have everything I want as if I, as I change my thinking about me and therefore change my thinking about him. This really applies to everything. I can't wait to see you in our next session. Proposal coming soon. It's so happening. It's so on. I'm so excited. XO. Okay. So yeah, this is the thing. Um, and I also want to say too, like self-concept work is never done. It's never done for me. It's never done for you. Hopefully, right? Because we're all going to want to create and manifest new things, which mean I am creating the new version of me, the new version of them that are this as I go through life. That's why I'm fully in favor of like reinventing yourself. I like the idea of a glow up as long as it's a mental glow up along with the physical glow up, hair glow up, et cetera. Do it all. Okay. Um, but like you guys, that's what I had her focus on. I said, okay, we got to get out of the abandonment story. We have to once and for all get out of the rejection story. Now for her, the abandonment and the rejection, the rejection meant it came in all the time, all the time. So I gave her a plan to focus. How do I focus consistently? How do I focus concisely? The plan was for her individually so that she could really wrap her mind around the new story. But the biggest thing for her was finally realizing her self-concept wasn't the same, that she was pushing out, she was reflecting, she was seeing so many things of rejection, so many things of abandonment. And then look what she did though, you guys, she's moving in with him. He initiated her moving in. He changed his mind because she changed thoughts of him within herself. And I also know her really well at this point, and she was not initiating talks about her moving in, I had her stop all of it because all the conversations, all the convincing, all the proving, all the discussing out there were getting her nowhere. Um, not to say that you can't have discussions and conversations and talk to your person about things, but we don't want it to come from a, I'm trying to prove to you how good I am for you. I'm trying to prove to you why we should be together. I'm trying to talk myself into commitment or I'm talking myself into my worth and my value. None of that, you guys. You want to know who you are, right? You want to manifest obsession, someone being like, you know, let's call it like a low key addicted to you, totally into you. That's how you do this. It begins with love stays with me. Love is mine. Love is here to stay. I'm so amazing. I am so adorable. I am so perfect. I am so great. Like, look at me. I am the best at what I do. And they think so highly of me. They want to be with me all the time. They have me on a pedestal. They look at me this way. They're totally and unequivocally mentally fixated on me and a future with me in a healthy way, in a healthy way, in a healthy way, in a healthy way. And I like it all. I had not intended to throw in affirmations, but there they are. Now, see, as I said, those even rewind the video, listen to them and ask yourself, do those really resonate with me or is something missing? Do those resonate with me or am I questioning, doubting and wondering even those thoughts? Because that conclusion will lead you to think, what, what new thoughts do I need to think about me and what new thoughts do I need to think about them in order for this to once and for all happen? You guys can turn around any scenario, hot and cold, ghosting, situationship. I was going to say membership, non-membership. I don't know why, because it rhymes. Okay. But like anything is possible. It all comes down to you. You are the only one who has the true ultimate power of thinking, deciding, manifesting and creating your reality. You are the epicenter of your relationship. You are the one creating, conducting, deciding what's going on. I have so many success stories of my own life um, and of all of my clients that I've worked with who use the power of thought and of their mind to turn the circumstances around. And you can do everything else. You can listen to audios, meditations, what have you, but we've got to be affirming and deciding that we ourselves are different right? So also you want to get away from doing like a bunch of affirmations about a person and leaving yourself out. That causes a lot of people, a lot of anxiety, worry, gets you into fear, right? You don't need to even do that. And it's not even over a lifetime effective. What you do need to do is get a handle on who are you? Who are you really with them? Not who are you sitting here watching the video? Like if you're watching this and you're having a relationship issue about a situation ship, and if you technically in your 3D are a single gal, single guy, you got to just, like, you guys own it. The version of you that you are with them is not the same version you are now. It's the version of you that you are then that gets worried, afraid, anxious, scared, scarcity, lack, that we got to change, that has the racing mind that gets so triggered by who they are 
and you're labeling yourself differently and what they do affects you, right? We are here to not take our cues from our 3D reality. We are here to create our reality, to create our relationship, do this whole thing differently and have some fun. All right. So I declare right now that for me and everyone that watches this, all of our subscribers, all of my clients, that this is the ultimate summer of love. Let's have a good time. Let's focus, refocus, get determined and get get deciding that they're obsessed with you. And that you are obsession worthy, that you are enough to receive the ultimate, your ultimate undying craving, obsession, obs uh, obsession. OK, you guys, that's my video for today. And let it sink in. Let's focus on this as our new outlook on that's how we're doing this, right? I want to get away from doing a bunch of friggin' boatload affirmations that are cookie cutter about a person. You got to, you can do that, but you can't leave yourself out. And who you are is individual to your life story, your life process, your family, who you've been, what you've created. It's not something that you can just grab and copy and paste and accept and, and get success. It is so much more individual, finite, specific. Right. And I stand by that because I've coached hundreds of people. Everyone is different. Everyone needs little tweaking of affirmations, a little bit of a guiding light. And all of us need accountability, motivation. So Motivation Monday, here I am. You got this, you guys. Right. Focus on yourself this week differently. Focus on them differently. How you're describing you, who you're being and how you're describing them. OK. I know it sounds simple, but it is that simple. Reality creation actually is not that complicated. All right, you guys, I love you. I'll see you in my next video. Have a great week. Um, celebrate yourselves. Remind yourselves how awesome you are. All right, bye.